In this video, we're going to look at getting you started using Quick Link Create in four easy steps. The first of which is to get you signed in. So pop in your Quick Link credentials into the boxes here. You can tick the box to remember your details if you don't want to have to do this every time and then click sign in. Now, this is the blank canvas that you'll be faced with when you first open up Quick Link Create. So this can look a little bit intimidating. So let's give you a few pointers as to where to get started. You first might want to add some sources into your project here. So come down to the bottom left hand corner of the GUI here. You'll see the sources window. Click the plus icon and that brings up the add source window. From here, you can see all the huge list of available sources that are here. Now, one of the first types of source that you might like to bring in might be an SDI feed. So that can be brought into your project utilizing the Blackmagic device source here. So select that, click add source. You can give this a friendly name if you wish. I'm just going to call this SDI1 and then click OK. Then in the device drop down, I'm just going to select SDI1, click OK. So that's brought in my first SDI source there and the first source of my first create project as well. Now I'm going to add in some other sources here as well. I'm going to come to a separate scene. So scene number two, I'm going to repeat the process and come to a Blackmagic device source again. Add that source. I'm going to call this SDI 8 because that's where my next feed is on. Click OK. Select 8 from the list there. Click OK. So what you can see already, I've got my two sources in on two different scenes. If I want to cut one of these into the program feed from the preview, I can just click cut up the top here. I do have other transitions available as well. So from this point, you can see that I've got my two sources there. One's in the preview ready to go live and one is live in the program. You can also see the audio levels for my program here as well as down here. And from here I can monitor, I can mute and unmute. I can actually change the audio level for my program feed too, as well as the individual sources, as you can see here from the audio mixer. Now, next, we've got our inputs in. We might want to send some outputs out. So one of the common things that we might be doing here is streaming out to a streaming destination. So what I'm going to do is open up the settings window, which is clicking this cog icon down the bottom left hand corner. The first tab that we come to is stream. So from here, I can come down to the services section. I could select YouTube from this list. Then I just need to get my stream key, which I can get by clicking the get stream key button here. That's going to take me over to YouTube where I can copy my stream key and then paste it into the stream key box here. I'm going to do this off screen so you can't see all my details. I'm just going to copy that, paste it in, click apply. So that's all loaded in correctly. And then when I'm ready to start streaming, I can simply click start streaming. And there you go. You can see in the bottom right hand corner of the GUI that you can see my timer for my stream and an indicator that it is in fact streaming. Now, we might also want to output via SDI as well as bring in SDI feeds. So that can be found in the advanced tab, still in the settings window here. So you can see I've got lots of different available outputs here. I've got a few preset ones as well as configurable ones. I'm just going to show you how to do a simple output here. I'm going to come to the cog icon for my program output, which has got my program video and audio. I'm then going to select an SDI that I'd like to output on. Click OK, and then when I'm ready to start that one up, I'm just going to click Start. And there you go, that started. I have now got an active SDI feed coming out of Create as well as SDI feeds coming in. Now, what we might also want to do, we're streaming, we're outputting over SDI, we might want to record our event or our production as well. And that's very simple. You may have noticed next to the streaming indicator here, we also have start program recording. And it's as simple as clicking start recording like so. And you can see that the recording has begun of my program output. Now, when I'm ready to stop this, all I need to do, as you may have noticed again, it says stop recording when I hover over that. Just click it again and confirm that and the recording has stopped. Same with the streaming, which can be found back in the stream tab here. I can stop that like so once my event is done, come back over to advanced and I can also stop the output over SDI as well. So that's a very quick introduction and four simple steps that will hopefully help you get started using Quick Link Create. Thank you for watching. You can access other instruction videos either on our YouTube channel or by navigating to support.quicklink.tv.